This brief learning module, Supporting Nursing Home Residents' Emotional Health, offers suggestions to help you support your residents' emotional needs. Studies have found that many nursing home residents had depression or other mental health issues develop or worsen after the pandemic began. A lack of social time with other residents and limited in-person visits with family members and loved ones left many residents feeling lonely and isolated. Some residents had friends and loved ones get sick or die from COVID-19. Funerals were not always held due to social distancing concerns, which left some residents with lingering sadness. Even as restrictions ease and visitations increase, the aftereffects of isolation are still very real. Some residents may have different motivation or ability to comprehend what is happening and why. Understanding residents' needs can help you provide emotional support so they can better cope with losses and change. The first step in helping residents is to recognize the signs of depression. This is especially important for residents with dementia. They may not be able to talk about why they feel sad. These signs could be a signal that a resident needs emotional support, especially if these changes are new or are happening more often. Trouble sleeping or having nightmares? Decreased energy or fatigue? Trouble concentrating? Negative attitude? Tearfulness? Withdrawal? Increased irritation and agitation? Increased chronic pain? A change in appetite? Weight loss? And less able to control their bladder? If you notice any of these signs in your residence, report it to your supervisor. It is important to know your facility's policy for how to handle residents' behavioral health. A full evaluation may need to be completed, but the first step is recognizing and reporting a concern. As we learned more about COVID-19, we gained more tools to prevent and treat it. This can help us all find a new normal, but the process may be harder for some people than others. Some residents may have lingering anxiety and fear about social interaction. They may have become so used to distancing from other people for so long, it might not be easy for them to restart pre-pandemic activities. We are out of practice with socializing. Education and practice are the keys to helping residents with this type of anxiety feel better. Encourage them to attend social activities as guidance allows and offer a gentle touch when physically assisting residents to participate in group settings. Start small and go slow for those anxious about being with others. If a resident is fearful of spreading germs or getting sick, explain the benefits of the COVID-19 vaccine and how booster shots can help us all stay up to date with protection from the virus. In a calm and reassuring voice, talk to residents about what your nursing home has done to keep them well. Explain when masking and social distancing are used to limit the spread of germs, and share any cleaning and disinfecting practices that staff do to prevent infection. This can be reassuring, especially for new residents and families. Tell them what happens when any resident is diagnosed with COVID-19, as well as when a resident might be tested for the virus. If a resident has trouble moving on from changes or losses, find ways to help them deal with the grief and talk about their feelings so that you are better able to support them. Talk to family members or loved ones when they visit and discover what might support the resident. It might help for visitors to reminisce with the resident about loved ones they miss. Suggest that they include photos, music, or stories during visits. Special foods can be a treat if appropriate. For residents without family, Arrange for a friend or the chaplain or another resource staff person to visit. Whenever it is safe to do so, increase social interaction with other residents, staff, and visitors. Exercise, even in small amounts, can also help residents cope with grief and loss. Now let's review a few key points. Think about the best answer for each of the following questions. What are some signs of depression to look for in your residents? Signs of depression include trouble sleeping or having nightmares, decreased energy or fatigue, trouble concentrating, negative attitude, tearfulness, withdrawal, increased irritation and agitation, increased chronic pain, a change in appetite, weight loss, and less able to control their bladder. What are some ways you can support residents who are hesitant to resume normal activities?
as appropriate, encourage them to attend social activities at their own pace. Offer a gentle touch when physically assisting residents to participate in group settings. In a calm and reassuring voice, talk to residents about what your nursing home has done to keep them well, including how your facility works to prevent the spread of infection. Adjusting to change can be hard, and some residents will accept changes easier than others. As caregivers, it is our job to help all residents adjust at their own pace and to recognize when some residents need a little extra care and attention. With your help, your residents might find it easier to accept the new normal and resume their former activities. You have completed this learning module. We hope you have learned some ways to support your residents' emotional needs. Learn more. Visit the Agency for Healthcare Research and Qualities website for free tools to help you identify and treat COVID-19.